the onset, appreciate the people of Kenya for turning out in large numbers in the most democratic election in the Republic of Kenya, the most peaceful election in the Republic of Kenya, in their democratic free will, chose leaders from MCAs, members of parliament, governors, and the president of the Republic of Kenya. On behalf of the Kenya Kwanzaa team, I want to appreciate the people of Kenya for giving us the opportunity to manage the affairs of our great country for the next five years. We thank God for giving us the opportunity through the people of Kenya for us to preside over the matters of our motherland. I appreciate teams that came together so that we could forge a united team that delivered victory to us on the 9th of August. I appreciate the men and women who came with me from our earlier party to the United Democratic Alliance. Many men and women, members of parliament, senators, governors, MCAs, and many Kenyans came along with us to forge a democratic movement under the United Democratic Alliance. I want to appreciate also in a very special way our partners and friends who came to join us and together worked and walked this journey to victory. Our brothers in ANC, our brothers in Fort Kenya, in uh, Chap Chap, in DP, uh, and all the other parties uh, that joined us. And uh, because of their contribution, because of their decision to work with us under very difficult circumstances, we won this election. Today, I am proud to announce the men and women who will serve in the cabinet of the Republic of Kenya by God's grace. And before I do that, let me say that uh, this exercise uh, is important because uh, although we have a cabinet which I met with my good deputy this morning, it is also important that we set up the new cabinet early so that we can quickly uh, take charge of uh, the affairs of our country and begin the process of implementing the plan that we set out before the people of Kenya and persuaded them to vote for us on the basis of that plan. And it's because of that reason and after extensive consultation with our teams, I am going to announce uh, the following. My good deputy, Rigadi Gashagwa, who I have a lot of regard for, for standing with me and working extra hours and being part of 
my support team. Uh, and now, by God's grace, he's the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. As I promised, my deputy is going to be a very busy person. And I am sending uh, a, an executive order for print to assign my deputy very clear responsibilities that will assist me be able to discharge the responsibility, the heavy responsibility put on my shoulders by the people of Kenya as is in accordance with the Constitution of Kenya. The Deputy President uh, will deputize the President in the execution of all President's functions that are allowed by the Constitution and law. He will chair cabinet committees. Uh, he will oversee the implementation of cabinet decisions across all ministries and departments. Number four, he will coordinate intergovernmental relations between the national government and the county government, including chairing the Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council, commonly known as IBEC. Mm -hmm. He will be the liaison between the constitutional commissions and independent offices in matters that require intervention by the national government, including budgets, policy formulation, and implementation of their recommendations. And number six, he will coordinate the planning and supervise the implementation of development partners funded programs and projects. And he will oversee public sector reforms and any other functions as I may assign him from time to time. We have again the other very important position, and that is the position of the Prime Cabinet Secretary. And I have appointed my brother, Wycliffe Musalia Mudavadi, into that office. That office is probably the most senior office after the office of the President and Deputy President. And I have set out functions for that office. He will assist the President and Deputy President in the coordination and supervision of government ministries and state departments. In liaison with the ministry responsible for interior and national coordination, oversee the implementation of national government policies, programs, and projects. Number three, he will chair and coordinate national government legislative agenda across all ministries and state departments in consultation with and for transmission to the party coalition leadership in both National Assembly and the Senate. He will facilitate interministerial coordination of cross functional initiatives and programs. He will also coordinate number five and supervise. He will coordinate and supervise the technical monitoring and evaluation of government policies, programs, and projects across ministries. And of course, perform any other functions as I may assign him from time to time. The other appointments I have made this afternoon are appointments of ministers. The Minister for Interior and National Administration, the Honorable 
Professor Abraham Kidure Kendiki, the Minister for National Treasury and Planning, Professor Njuguna Ndungu, <clears throat> Public Service, Gender and Affirmative Action, the Honorable Aisha Jumwa Katana, Ministry of Defense, the Honorable Aden Bare Duale, Ministry of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation, the Honorable Alice Mudoni Wahome, Minister for Foreign Affairs and Dias Foreign and Diaspora Affairs, the Honorable Alfred Mutua. Minister for Trade, Investment, and Industry, the Honorable Moses Kuria. The Minister for East African Community, Arid and Semi-Arid Lands and Regional Development, Rebecca Miano. Minister for Roads, Transport, and Public Works, the Honorable Onesmas Kipchumba Murkomen, Minister for Environment and Forestry, the Honorable Rosalinda Soipan Tuya, Minister for Lands, Housing, and Urban Development, Zakaria Mwangi Njeru. Minister for Tourism, Wildlife, and Heritage, the Honorable Penina Malonza. Minister for Agriculture, Livestock, and Livestock Development, the Honorable Franklin Medika Linturi. Minister for Health. Susan Nakumicha Wafula. Minister for Information, Communication, and Digital Economy, Mr. Eliud Owalo, Minister for Education, Ezekiel Machogu, Minister for Energy and Petroleum, Davis Chirchir, Minister for Youth Affairs, Sports and Arts, Honorable Ababu Namwamba. Minister for Cooperatives and Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise Development, Simon Chelugui. Minister for Mining, Blue Economy, and Maritime Affairs, Salim Mburia, Minister for Labor and Social Protection, Florence. I have also made the following cabinet.
advisor. to the cabinet those are the appointments I have made this afternoon other appointments will follow in due course on the other areas that are um, part of the team that will work with me and my two brothers and uh, the entire cabinet in making sure that we implement the program and the plan upon which the people of Kenya voted for us. Um, This afternoon also, I have received communication from the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Mutiambai, of his request to proceed on terminal leave uh, because of his uh, health situation, I have, after discussing with uh, Mr. Mutiambai and in consideration of his service to our nation and his health uh, situation, I have accepted that Mr. Mutiambai will proceed on terminal leave on the six months that he still has uh, of his contract. I have also received the resignation of the Director General of CID, Mr. Kinoti, and I have transmitted the same to the National Police Service to proceed with advertising uh, that position. And meanwhile, they should get somebody to act in the place of Mr. Kinoti. Uh, some consultations were going on. Uh, I wanted to confirm whether the gentleman I want to propose for Parliament to consider as the next Inspector General uh, concluded. Mm -hmm. Is there somebody? Get me. Kinwa. Eh. Get me Kinwa. Bring the. Uh, um, I will also formally announce to you uh, that as well all in the exercise of trying to uh, assemble um, the next administration so that we can, all of us, begin to work on the nuts and bolts of the transformation of our country. We appreciate that um, we have a difficult economic situation in our hands, but I am confident that um, Working with this team, 
we will overcome all the challenges that are there. Did you finish with that comment? Um, once I conclude uh, my consultations with uh, the head of public service here, the name of the new Inspector General of Police will be released this afternoon. So with those many remarks, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this opportunity to wish the men and women on uh, this list, the great people who will assist us deliver on the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, plan. I wish them well. They will now proceed to Parliament for um, the exercise in Parliament uh, so that Parliament can uh, approve and give me the opportunity to finally conclude the appointment and get each and every member of this team to work. Asante ni sana and may God bless you.